Okay, guys, I'm on a roll putting up these videos, but um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, myself and what's going on with me. Um, I am going to be having surgery. I'm going to be having surgery on my left leg. I have been having problems with my left leg for some years, and um, I totally ignored it. Um, I kind of like was thinking about out of sight, out of mind. Um, my left leg, well, whenever I walk or whatever, I cannot walk in the house or walk anywhere, period, without a shoe on um, my left foot. My foot is so sensitive. If I just put my foot on the floor, the heel of my foot, it hurts really bad and the pain shoots up my leg. Um, I've known about this for years. Um, doctors have seen me um, about my leg and told me, hey, I needed to get my leg treated and um, I just totally ignored it and I have a very close vein that had gotten really really big and um, then it started to protrude out um, at times that I when I lay down I would have to prop my leg up because it would be sensitive just to put my whole leg on the bed so if I massaged it um, uh, in my calf area or either if I um, took a massager and put it up under the bottom of my foot that will relieve me some. Um, it got to the point where, you know, I could wear little sandals or whatever, and um, it would help me with the pain. Then it got to the point that the sandal was too thin, um, so I would have to wear sneakers and um, sneakers and socks. And if you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but when I go to work and I drive to work. I actually drive in my sneakers and then I change into my heels when I get into work and then when I'm leaving work I have to put my sneakers back on I have to have a sneaker on something soft and a thick sock um, I usually have on my holes my knee my knee highs with um, my thick ankle socks over those even still to make it cushiony but anyway um, so it got to the point where when I stand up to wash dishes or cook the pain was getting worse and starting to bother me with um, with my sneakers on so I decided to go ahead and go uh, back to the doctor uh, which with you know with the military and everything you know they were telling me that I needed to get it done really need to get it done and uh, I ignored them but uh, you can only ignore them for so long before they start making things happen and it's at the point where they're making things happen so um, I went to the doctor on last month to get my leg uh, checked out. I had to wear some support holes. The doctor said he doubted if those were gonna work because of the way that my leg looked. And um, so I had to go back and get an ultrasound on my leg. The ultrasound came back that the varicose vein and all that is really bad. And where I'm having the veins that's at the bottom of my leg by my ankle, where I can see the veins um, out of that, that's actually blood pooling back down. Um, blood is not going all the way up my leg, my left leg, like how it is supposed to be. It's actually going up to the spot where the varicose vein is, and then it doesn't go on up. It pulls back down, and that's where you can see it with all the veins that's going down to my ankle. So um, I'm gonna be having a venous uh, treatment for my leg, and I won't be able to exercise for about three weeks. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually even having to take off from work. I am a workaholic. I do not like to miss work at all. Um, I love my job. Uh, I love to exercise. I have come to where I love to exercise six days a week. And um, it's playing um, or taking a toll on my mind mentally, not being able to work out. But this is something that I have to do. Um, my leg will be wrapped all the way from my hip all the way down to my foot, to the bottom of my foot. Um, my procedure is on June the 8th. I'll be um, having the surgery. Um, I don't like nobody messing with my limbs, you know? I've never wanted anybody to mess with my limbs at all. Um, you know, everybody enjoys walking and all that, even when I was heavier, um, just being able to walk just a little, but now I'm able to run and I feel free and for someone to mess with my legs. And I know that this is something that I have to do that I have to now face. I have faced a lot of my fears with my weight and my eating and all that stuff. 
and now it's the time that I have to face this with my leg. Um, it's very, very frustrating, and I am trying not to cry. Um, it's very frustrating for me uh, to go and have this done, but I know I need it done. And um, you can see the vein uh, at times how it does, and when I'm on my, my feet for a while, how my leg changes colors and all that stuff. So I just want to let you guys know that on June the 8th, I will be having surgery on my left leg. So, um, need you guys prayers, um, you know, and, um, I know my foundation and, um, I'll be praying as well, but I just wanted to share this all with you guys. Uh, I am not going to be exercising for about three weeks. So I'm going to ask you guys to exercise for me five minutes. If you guys can do that for me, I will um, keep in contact with you guys, let you guys know how I'm doing. Um, I will contact, you know, um, someone, you know, to let you guys know when I'm going into surgery and when I'm out. So, but other than that, I just want to share this with you guys. I hadn't told anybody, and I have been knowing about this for a long time. I've been knowing about my leg for years, and I have been holding this um, to myself uh, for a while. And... Um, I share it with Wendy at the meet and greet and everything, so, um, and Mama Rose. And so, you know, I just want to let you guys know. I hadn't told anybody, but I, you know, I just wanted to share it with some others and then, you know, go from there. But I'll talk to you guys later and keep me guys, keep me in your prayers. And on the 8th, if you guys will exercise for me five minutes, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.